Hey there guys, Headphones Neon here, back with a pretty quick review of sorts, just because I wanted to watch a particular movie, and it turned out it's not streaming on Netflix as long, along with its sequel, and because they're back-to-back -back films, I thought I would do a, or give my take on how they hold up now, and that's the 2006 and 2008 films Casino Royale and Quantum of Solace. So these are the films that introduce the world to Daniel Craig as James Bond, and rather than progressing with the stories of um, more gadgets and more extreme situations that Bond gets into, we have them going, or have, we have Daniel Craig portraying the early days of Bond when he first earns his double status and um, how he develops a personality that he has. So overall, I want to say that def Casino Royale definitely holds up. Um, as far as introducing the world to um, Daniel Craig, uh, we don't have too many gadgets, nothing too fantastically spectacular. We have the villain with uh, uh, physical defects, so in this case Le Chiffre with the blood uh, coming out of his um, eyes because of the tear duct issue. Um, we do have the car, or the fancy car, but uh, we have a gadget that's more true to life with the heart defibr defibrillator and poison cleansing system. We do still see where we still have the gun with the silencer, so that's there. So the basic traits along the lines of what we have as um, Sean Connery as James Bond in the early days of the films um, rather than the later versions with um, notably um, Pierce Brosnan and the um, later on the film, so uh, what Pierce Brosnan had and then like the submarine car and boat thing and a fly I think one turned into a plane if I remember right or something like that some weird thing like that we, we don't really have too much of that and basically they elaborate on the basic necessity of tools in the later Daniel Craig film so we have Q Branch giving him a radio transmitter for MI6 to find him when he's on the island I think if I remember the one of the later films right but overall Casino Royale definitely holds up um, I didn't hold too high of, or I didn't hold Quantum of Solace too high on the list um, just because I didn't feel at the time that it had too much of a plot but because it's a direct sequel to Casino Royale it holds up a little bit better if you watch it in tandem with Casino Royale or back to back with it rather than on its own because the events of Casino Royale spill into Quantum of Solace so um, it's not necessarily a standalone film on its own it doesn't really hold up for anything um, it progresses the character of Bond but only to round out what happened in Casino Royale so along those lines I actually found it okay um, and it kind of worked uh, we had a villain that was menacing enough but didn't really have anything um, worthy to give compared to the other Bond villains um, and I will give the caveat that I don't remember all of them off the top of my head, so there might have been other ones in some of the other early other films that were not that great. So the ones that come to mind are, um, I want to potentially say the one, the guy from um, Tomorrow Never Dies, but he did have enough influence and global power to make him menacing. Um, there might have been a couple others but yeah, like I said nothing comes to mind so overall I want to say that as far as watching Bond films um, Casino Royale holds up as far as a uh, good film as far as in best comparison because of uh, the relative to people I know um, it compares well with Goldeneye Quantum of Solace is kind of along the lines of maybe um, the world is not enough or the one with um, the Korean guy with the diamonds I want to say it's good enough but it probably compares directly with the world is not enough just because of the oil pipeline and the environmental issues that the villain in um, Quantum of Solace was trying to accomplish so things like that um, as far as the rest of the Daniel Craig films that are kind of along the lines of Tomorrow Never Dies just with um, the abilities and what's going on, the, the threat that Bond has to fa um, face off against and take care of and all of that. So overall, the two movies go start serve as a good launching point for Daniel Craig as James Bond and it makes me want to see the rest of the films with him in it. Um, and he does a good job compared especially in comparison to Pierce Brosnan so the first two films of Brosnan were probably the best 
Um, I want to say the one after Tomorrow Never Dies and before The World Is Not Enough. The, again, the one with the Korean one is probably my um, second favorite Brazen one. And it goes along the lines of um, how I liked um, Skyfall. And I want to say there's one more Craig one. But overall, Quantum of Solace stands out as the one that's probably the least of the Craig one. One much like how The World Is Not Enough stands out as the least of the Brosnan films. So... Relatively speaking, they're not, or compared to the other films by the actor, they're not, it's not as good, but um, compared to where it, it, or what it was aiming to accomplish, it's good enough, but it doesn't really work well as far as keeping the Bond films as standalone films, even though it has enough of the traits, but when you're doing a direct sequel, it kind of does not work as well as one would hope so that's really all there is for this particular review so um i watched them back to back and i liked quantum assaults more than i remember but it's not as good as it could have been um it could and like i said if it as a standalone film if they um it progressed things along more than they did it would have been a better film rather than making it a sequel even though they could have kept it as a sequel but it just needed that a little bit more to make it stand out as a good film so that's all there is for this particular review oh and actually before i forget and sign off both films are currently streaming on netflix so that is where i watch them both so that's actually all there is for this particular episode so you can find me on twitter at patel n01 where you can comment on the post give your feedback and all that good stuff um past episodes subscription links supporting the show and all of that good stuff is can be found on the website at pateln01.com. But thanks for tuning into this review and until next time.